The Auto Mounting Holes tool is a great new feature in LED Wizard 7.1 that allows you to quickly add a series of mounting and or wiring holes to your channel letters and sign cabinets. This is a comprehensive feature that largely automates this otherwise tedious task and further streamlines your production process. You can export the finished set of mounting holes along with your module positioning guides and the letter outlines to a full-scale DXF file and send this to your router for production. So let's take a look at this process in detail. So we'll start by opening this file with these 50 inch letters uh, that have been populated with a single row of red LEDs from our fictitious brand XYZ. And so first I'll make a group uh, of these letters and then go to the LED menu and select Auto Mounting Holes Tool. And you see that these three guidelines come in going across the letters and these guidelines contain uh, the mounting holes and I can adjust the number of guidelines and they're equally distributed vertically across the letter. The other thing you'll notice is that there's an inline and that determines the position of of the holes and I can change the inline amount so here I change it from 1 inch to 0.5 inch now to 1.5 inches so that gives me a nice clearance from the return. Then I can also adjust the position of each guideline. And so in this case, I've moved one guideline up, and now I'm moving one guideline down to give myself uh, three guidelines. And then here with these icons, I can actually determine how many mounting holes are on each stroke, on each guideline within a letter. I can have it aligned to the left, to the middle, or to the right or any combination. So now I've got my mounting hole and I'd like to actually change the size of the mounting hole. So this is currently a one inch hole. I can pick from my list and I'll choose three eighths of an inch and then say preview. I can customize the size uh, of the mounting holes that I have to choose from. And so you can see how the holes are distributed across the letters now. Now we'll take a look at the holes themselves and see that there's an optional crosshair. So the crosshair is something that you can turn on and off and it's basically a way that if you're drilling the hole instead of routing it you can simply drill on the crosshair. So the holes and the crosshairs each have their own layers so they can be toggled on and off and they can be exported or not exported. Another thing that we can look at here is if you have a very large letter or a cabinet and you want more than three holes across a certain space, then you can set the max horizontal spacing and then it'll distribute holes according to that value. So I put six inches and it put five holes across the bottom of this L. If you do a larger max horizontal spacing, then it doesn't do anything and it just puts in the normal holes according to which icon you've chosen. Now let's take a look at editing the holes. Down here at the bottom we have the help line tells us how to insert holes and delete holes. So I can just go on the guideline and add a couple additional holes. I can freely move these holes around and position them uh, on the guideline or off the guideline. So you have total flexibility in uh, positioning and adding new holes. So if I wanted to go in to one of these uh, sections here, say on this one, and I can just delete that hole right out. So again, very flexible with customizing the exact position of each hole. So this would be our finished layout. And to finalize this, I'd click on Add Holes. And that gets me out of the tool, takes the guideline out, and then positions uh, the holes inside the letters. Over here in Layers, I can see uh, each hole here in each crosshair. I can toggle that view on and off. And I can also toggle it on and off when I so one final thing we'll do is, is create the router layer. And I had this in the previous design that we started with. So this is simply a line that goes through the module, tells us the exact positioning of the module. And so this is what the data looks like with the router layer and the mounting holes. So we'll go ahead and take this whole file and export it. And we'll export this to a DXF file, polylines with arcs. And here in the Layers to Export option here, 
I can turn layers on and off for export. And as I deselect a layer, you can see that it disappears from the preview until I get to the layers that I want, which is the letter outline, the module positioning guides, and the mounting holes. And this is a full scale export, so I'll go ahead and give it the name Holes. Click on Export. And now I'll re import that so we can take a look at the data that we've created. And there's our import preview. And we'll just position this right above and scale this layout back up. And so here's the file. This would be the file again that you would send to your router. It could be a DXF file or some other file format. And that's the final that's the final job. So that's the auto mounting holes tool in LED Wizard 7.1.